Welcome to Biomutant. Alright, well, you said it for me. Understandable. Alright, let's get this shit on the road. Uh, let's see. Camera shake. We don't. We don't like. Activity on the way in. Keep everything the same. Good enough. Alrighty, let's start this. Uh, let's go hard. Welcome to baby. I'm playing this. Obviously. So let's figure it out together. Woo! Encode your DNA. Define your genetic structure. Choose a genetic resilience. Choose your first style. your main color. Choose your detail. Here's somebody with a troubled past, drawn into the spotlight of a story that's already begun. We're already at a crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice 
or simply stop. I heard there was two endings, so I might do two playthroughs of this. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. A reflection of your key, the primal energy that flows through everything. Very good. Thief. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you. Or your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of balance and... Seems more like you'll be... But what comes around... In your nature. Oh, and here I that. was hoping <laughs> we'd be all about natural selection. Survival of the strongest and so forth. If that's not instinct, then I don't know what is. <laughs> natural selection is all about evolution and progress. And as soon as there's enough light, darkness will disappear. Oh, understandable. Right is always right. I wonder if the other one is find something different. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Do you remember the beast that shattered your family? Or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on our world and got lost in your own. Meanwhile, the predator only grew stronger. For it. Right, this is it. not the time nor place to end this story. That looks like a bomb. It was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Oh, that is a bomb. The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began, and the tree of life started to die. That's going to leave a mark.
middle life. Woo! I wish I would have tired on the first turn, but I ain't a bitch. Can I loot things? Not yet. Why is do I need not frame this? Not the system. Setting. Three chances out of combat. Got it. I like it. A climb stringer. How unusual. The oil sludges everywhere. To most, it only means death. But some have adapted to the new environment and changed with it. Evolution has its ways. Encounter. Bullets everywhere.
I parried, fuck. Cutting edge. Finish them off. Slice of dice. Strength, agility, and luck. All that exercise helps.
right. Look, an emergency box from the once was a rare sight. looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Whoa! It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Oh, I'm done. Find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. <laughs> the Morks produce biomatter in their multi organ that they shed under distress. Blobs that affect the cellular coding strands of any living being when absorbed, including you, Percy. On a leash. Toxanol built vessels called Arcs to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arcs traveled through the sky and beyond. 
It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. If you move left, make them count. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago, but it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxinor Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste, and without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right. But no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics of the wildlife and created bizarre mutations in their offspring. It had an inconceivable impact on biodiversity and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. The sound of spark metal going pew-pew is never a good thing. Spark metal. It's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. It's going to take a bit of puzzling to short-circuit the door. Just a few moves left. Make them count. There you go. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Carving it up! Now that's a flesh. You lack like key energy. That's the last of them. Let's talk to the wheeled one before backup arrives. Uh. 
There's definitely something up there. He wants to thank you for taking his side against the scavengers. He sounds familiar. You just can't figure out why. He presents himself as out of date. He knows he's way overdue, but he hasn't given up. He doesn't seem surprised that you don't recognize him. You were just a child back then. The night everything changed. But the what? There have been rumors of a one-eyed Ronin seen outside the Great War, and he's happy to see it's true. Papa Mofubak. The legend of the one-eyed child that grew up as an outcast is old and sad. The child could have been anyone, but the evil it had fled had left a mark. A facial scar to remember the past. It's a scar you're covering under that eye patch, isn't it? But he would have recognized you anyways. You look exactly like your Muma. There's no doubt you're the child. And that what Looper Lupin did to your village, your Mooma and Popsy, was the beginning of the end. He says it has taken you a long time to bring the past back up to the present, to find your way back. But he's grateful you have. It was after the attack that the unity fell apart. Your Mooma's disciples divided and formed tribes as a reaction to the blight that had fallen upon the land. The impending threat of the World Eaters bringing down the Tree of Life is ever so close. He also worries about the Jagni tribe that's actively working for a doomsday and purging of the world. Had it not been for the Tree of Life, no one would have survived. He hopes you at least remember the tree. Asks if you were tired, as it's a bit of a hike here from the village. He won't. <laughs> You're such a good child, so you probably did. Even the young forget. <laughs> he understands why you came all the way out here to see them, the potato people. <laughs> The Potato People, or Nono, are a wonder somehow interlinked with this little... You might be right. Like potatoes, they're packed with energy, an excellent source of key. The Nono prefer to hide in glitter grass, he says you should get over there and ruffle it. See if you can make one come out of hiding.
You found one. You should be proud. They don't come out for everyone. The Nono's key energy is just what the Pensai needs to complete its cycle and... <laughs> Only time will tell. At least his intention is to dedicate his life to it. He has the feeling the fate of the world depends on it. You need to support the tree for a long time to come. The only way it'll grow tall is with the burst of key released from the Nono as they become one with the tree. You'll need a net to catch the Nono, and he wants you to use his, but asks you to be gentle. The Nono are sensitive beings, an embodiment of Ki, the primal energy. I hope that. Bid to the bid. He's grateful for all the help he can. Oh, it'll need a continuous flux of key over the 20, 12 oh. months to come, so countless, he'd say. <laughs> One day, he hopes the tree will have grown tall enough to sustain the world. But today, your focus is getting this one to become one with the tree. Can I swim? Alright, I can. <laughs> Sorry about that. Now that you've seen the Nono's connection with the tree with your own eyes, you have no reason to doubt. From this day on, he'll make nurturing the Pensai into a tree of life, a life goal. Not only for our village's sake, but for all of us, everyone. One day, the land won't be as peaceful. Not even your Mooma will be able to protect us. You can already see the effects from how reckless those before us acted, and unless something changes, we're doomed. The land won't survive the side effects of the old world's industrial advances. He says you'd better hurry back to the village before your Mooma comes looking for you. No, she's got lots on her mind and needs rest after the raid last night on the Lupin camp with her disciples. Wonders if they let the Predator family live or not. He lost you there for a while, but no memory is alone. It's part of a trail you can follow. He says he remembers every single day he devoted to growing the Tree of Life, but now he's afraid it might be in vain. The tree started to die when the end of The genetic evolution that occurred after the apocalypse, the Toxinol Corporation inflicted on the land, set the World Eater's DNA into overdrive.
His friend Gizmo is working on a Mekton and needs help defeating the Jumbo Puff at the end of the West Route. Wiz is still repairing his Octopod to confront the Merc Puff that dwells deep down under the surface at the end of the Northwest Route. Noko has tamed the Midget and is preparing to take on the Hoof Puff at the end of the East Route. Understandable. Finally, Goop is almost done with the Goo Glide, a machine able to ride the waves of the surf all the way out to the Porky Puff at the end of the route to the southeast. Out of date says his friends are gearing up to stop the world eaters. There's one at the end of each route. The road ahead. He wants you to understand that you'll all die if the His friends have prepared something specific for each world eater. The Mekton, the Octopod, the Majut, and the Googlide are almost ready to ride. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the situation with the world eaters. Understandable. You're getting the hang of it. Quickest way out is through the roof where they came in, and the rope looks strong enough to climb. Tree of Life is dying. Its days are numbered. Without help, it can't endure the environmental change and assault from the world eaters. Took about an hour for a total card. I like it already. <laughs> A signpost maps it out for the cartographically challenged. Let's see. of date's leg. You'll need a hat trick to bring that down. The world eaters have made their marks on our world over time. That's not the first nor the last village it'll leave in its wake. Look, a survivor. Glad to see someone made it out alive. He's heard the stories about the terror inflicted by the World Eaters to other enclaves, but never expected one to come all the way here.
been in there, she tailors so much. He worries there won't be much left to save if this continues, even if the Tree of Life survives the attack. He doesn't know what your connection is to this place, but something tells him you've stayed true to your heart. Anyway, he needs help and says it's by your actions you'll be... He's grateful for that. You still seem to have a spark of light in you. <laughs> That's a spark of light in you! What's there to like about light? It hurts to look at. Not as much as it hurts to look at you. Always making this personal. And you're always trying to pretend it's not. There's out of date again. He must have missed something important. Out of date says you will make a better stand against the world eaters with the support of a tribe, and there are two nearby. The Myriad tribe is likely to be a good match as they act on the understanding of the greater good and have a code of honor. Regardless of who you choose, it won't be easy, as the conflict between the tribes is worse than ever, teetering on the brink of war. The Myriad's conviction to stop the World Eaters began when the Leviathans rose from the depths of the surf. Siding with the Myriad's movement for wholeness in a fragmented world might seem like the logical thing to do, but is it the right thing? One thing's certain, though. Destiny arrives all the same. The Jagni tribe only ever had one conviction, to bring balance to the world by wiping out the weak. <laughs> They believe a cleansing is necessary to restore the world and want to let the world eaters bring down the tree of life. But siding with Chagney isn't necessarily a bad thing. Fate will find a way. Out of date says someone needs to break the stalemate and shift the balance of power to either Jagni's or Myriad's side. He believes the tribe Sifus, Myriad especially, will listen to you and expects you to pay at least one of them a visit and play. Myriad is convinced that defeating the World Eaters is the only way the world can be saved, but they've been forced to focus on their rivalry with the Jagni tribe. Out of date will be waiting for you beneath the tree of life if you lose track of what you need to do. Regardless, you'll meet again once you've played your part in the tribe war and the oh, situation the with the world eaters. Or you just constantly get points.
Another fork in the road. It's either the tunnel or the motor bridge. What'll it be? It's unusual that natural tunnels like this still exist. Most of them got flooded. See what they look like up here. I don't know about this area was beautiful before the tribe war began. Look at it now. It's a war zone. That's the Myriad Tribe's fortress. Will they be friends or foe? You should head up there. That way you'll know. Let's see. It's a beaten path to that door. If you go there, you'd better make an entrance. Says they're wary of strangers. He can see you're a free spirit, so he'll let you in. The Sifu is always interested in meeting someone open to joining their cause. The Myriad tribe act on understanding of the greater good and a code of honor. They believe uniting the tribes is the only way to restore the peace. The Sifu is convinced that defeating the World Eaters and saving the Tree of Life is the only way to make the world a better place. He welcomes you to the Myriad Fort and introduces himself as the tribe's Sifu. But he was hoping you'd show up. The news of a vigilante Ronin on crusade crossing the Great Wall through the cracking... He heard you took out of date side against the scavengers in Bunker 101. It seems you believe in helping your next, and that's something you have in common. He's convinced you've returned for a reason, and is glad you chose to come here. There's something about your spirit that sparks memories of you as a kidling. He can still sense you're kind-hearted. The sea. My Muma. My. Your Muma invented Wang Fu. Originally, it consisted of unarmed combat and the six weapons: the boomerang, the shuriken, the bow, the staff, the nanchuk, and the hook and chain. The Sifu says it's time to set the past aside, at least for now. Unrest is sweeping the land, and there are rivals in all directions. Myriad wants unity between the tribes. Their goal is understanding of the greater good and establishing a code of honor. If you believe there's some good in everyone, there's still hope for tomorrow. You'll unite the tribe. He was the Sifu was waiting for something. Uh, the Jagni tribe may believe that fear <laughs> and hatred will lead them to domination. A vanquisition of the tribes and destruction of the Tree of Life won't be the restart they want. It's just an end to everything. Get it, no. Ah, whatever. I'm about most. 
their kin have run out of options and found themselves backed into a corner. Even those who desire peace, you need to take the struggle to the enemy, or the enemy will bring it to you. When survival is threatened, there's no other option left but war. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. Alright, there's a lot of things to do, and I like it. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. About to happen. You both have gentle next. minds, so they want to wage a gentle war. A war that bonds as much as it breaks. Tells you not to be afraid. Your fate cannot be taken from you. Claim the rival outposts and earn the right to wield the tribe weapon. Once you've dealt with the rival's outposts, you'll challenge their Sifu. They pass the point of no return as their words lost power and see no other way forward than using violence to combat violence. Seeing you, Myriad wants unity between He remembers your kind and... Anyway, the memories you... Even though... See if they're still fighting down here. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the Wong ones especially, deformed and unfurled. button should the parry signal should pop over your head not the enemy's head I feel because I don't know if some techs are just you can't parry or block or what okay, let's try that again I'll kill him. Better beware, that's a mump up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially. Deformed and unfurred.
god. I can do it. I shouldn't have fucking... Beware, that's okay, a monk I know that's up ahead. They were hit hard by evolution, the wonky ones especially, deformed and unfurred. So much damage. Looks good.
time is lost on this place, but it evokes a tingling sensation. There's something special about it, drawing you closer. Oh, am I getting one? Weird. I just need a stronger gun, I guess. Let's see. <laughs> I just realized how you fucking activate them. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh. As time passes, memories fade, <laughs> and sometimes feelings change. You pee on it's the not fucking about fast who you travel were, points. It's about who you become. This story is far from over. Echoes of a long lost past, like whispers in the wind. Goop. Here's someone who takes each day as it comes. My man. He asks how you are today. Goop says he always does better whenever he leaves failure behind. He's happy his good mood is infectious. He wonders where you've been. He hopes you've been out at the lake, practicing your swimming technique. Learning to swim can be scary when you don't know what you're doing. But fortunately, he's here to give you a helping hand. Yeah. He thinks you should really know how to swim by now. And I'm just gonna start skipping. Right. That's just not fair. You can swim in this water is well in very deep water, so you lose key when you're at ah. Understandable. He says that wasn't too bad, was it? I need to keep at it. Wait, but you need practice. You just need more. Judging by your Moomer's look, it seems you forgot something. You promised you'd train with her before the You know you can't make up for lot. You should train As long as it doesn't kill you, she'll see you at the village square. Mother. She says that's good. Here's another familiar face with lots on his mind. Asks how you're feeling today. He was hoping you could help him pick up some scrap for a Heath He wonders what usefulness you found. He says whatever it is, it should be. He can work wonders with almost anything and asks if you know how to upcycle. Three Upcycle. Oh.
Collector. You did well, but he can't help but wonder why you decided to craft a weapon. He believes being considerate will help him. He understands. He thinks master. He's looking forward to seeing what. It looks like she's starting to lose her patience. Oh, shut the fuck up. You know she doesn't like waiting for you. She wants to see you on the village square, right? Then you've got a good excuse. You share. She wants you to grow up and start thinking for yourself. You really need to. They look determined. Better watch out. He asks you to stop right there and wonders where you think you're going. That makes him wonder why you were here looking. There's no way they'll let you. He wants to know who you think you are. Oh, they're fucking dead. Ow, alright, bow guy first. Bow guy first. He fucking hurts. She asks if you're hurt. What happened? She says it's nice of you to consider them, but they have weapon training at sunrise tomorrow, so they'll need all the most. It's time to focus on your training now. You won't. I would have called Bow Guy first. I want to fucking carry. I lost my weapon. Here's someone close to heart, doing what he does best. <laughs> Seeing you always puts a smile on your Popsy's face. He wants to know how you're feeling. He heard you helped Gizmo clean. He asks if you could help him too before you leave for trade. Family comes first. He said. I'm gonna make armor now. He's curious to see what's up. I got me a woman. What's on the Jira Fabas?
The style might be too edgy for his taste, but he looks sharp on you. He knows she's all. You should take it. Your Muma says it's about time you got here. It's in Wants you to understand that you can do anything if you work with It's in Antoro, Kanamunta. But the Kanamunta. Your Muma says you did well today. She's so proud of you. Thank you. This dude's getting the high as fuck. Catchy. Your Muma says she's never seen an apparatus as It's called an automaton and it Your Muma says you know what a day Rest and you'll find strength for tomorrow. Stop Luca Lupin from setting the world on fire. Luca Lupin. What's he burning? Ah, oh, he's burning my house down. Your Muma urges you to blaze a trail. A burnt kidling will learn to dread fire. That's just adding fuel to the flames. Give it a last burst and you'll make it. Your Muma says this is it. The time has come. She Kanamunta Antoro Kanamunta Yoi Mustikinuka. She tells you to Ina Dobsunka. She loves how here it comes. The past coming to haunt the present. Ow. Go through fire and water to make it out of here. Your Muma says you can make it if you believe in it. Where she goes, you go. Blood is thicker than water. You're in deep surf. Don't make waves. The surf goes where it wants to go. It'll take you to the shore as long as you go with the flow.
Death is not to be feared by one who has lived life with a pure heart. A part of her will live on in you. The creature is hungry for more. Nothing is going to stand in its way now. My mom. It will be missed. If a sacrifice is made that. for someone else, it's not lost, but passed on to the next. Life must go on. Real sacrifice comes from love and necessity when all other options are exhausted. Got it. The ultimate test of conscience is the willingness to give up anything to save what you truly care about. What you do for yourself dies with you. What you do for your kin remains and makes you immortal in their memory. As the moment fades and is lost, the only thing that remains is loneliness. It doesn't mean you'll forget your past. It simply means you need to move on. Time to get crafty. Now that's a knife. That sort of stuff always comes in handy. Tribes caught a fluffy hog. Better watch oh, out. Fuck. It's no pet. <laughs> they couldn't keep it down. Fluff hogs on the loose.
right in the face. I dodged, oh my god. Fuck. I don't even know if you can parry this fucking thing. They couldn't keep it down. The flood hulk's on the loose. I'm oh, losing the fire one now. Lord, uh, shit.
fucking dodge. Fuck. Melee combat sucks. <laughs>